What is going on? Welcome to episode 42 of the Nintendo PowerCast. I'm your host, N64 Josh, and my co-host on this one is none other than Super Nintendo. How's it going, buddy? Hey, how's it going, man? It is going well. It has been a long day, but I'm glad to be here doing this. So uh, before we get into this, guys, if you'd like to get yourself a free book from Audible, you can go to audibletrial.com slash NPC, and there you can choose from one of over 30,000 books. And uh, you get to keep the book if you decide you uh, don't want to stick with the program. But if you do, it's $14.99 a month. You get one book a month. And... uh, you get, to, you get to keep all the books. When you feel like quitting, you can quit, and you can start back up. It's uh, it's, all, it's all up to you. So that's audibletrial.com slash NPC. Also, the seat that I'm in, the chair from opseat.com. Extremely comfortable, extremely affordable gaming chair. Check them out, opseat.com. Use coupon code N64JOSH to save yourself 10 bucks off of your purchase. Everybody in the chat, I know we do this show live on Tuesdays, but hey, you know what? We're going to do it live periodically throughout the week. So maybe Thursdays every now and again, we actually have a Monday and a Tuesday show coming up next week. So make sure to, uh, um, tune in for that. For those, um, Monday, we have the developer from Elliot quest joining us. And, um, Tuesday I'm doing a round table with four other Nintendo podcasts. And so it is going to be a great time. I do want to say welcome to everybody that's hanging out with us so far. Kirby geek, sneaky sniper, anybody that's just lurking. Thank you so much. So that's all the stuff we got through that pretty quick. And uh, now, let's talk about you, my friend, Mr. Super Nintendad. Super Nintendad. What do you want to talk about? Let's talk about, about the name. Let's talk about the name. Where'd the name come from? Well, uh, I guess I really I don't have any kids. I just really liked the way it sounded. <laughs> um, <laughs> Fair enough. Okay, that's that's not true. I have kids, but um, I I really like Nintendo. So um, I was trying to think of a name that would stick. And originally, I had Nintendad, and then Nintendad sixty four, and then I just changed it to uh, Super Nintendad, and that one kind of stuck. So I've been using that ever since. It's pretty much your name everywhere, right? Your YouTube channel, your your Twitch, yeah. your Twitter, all the above, you, right? Yeah, uh, every, pretty much everywhere. Yeah, you're right. Um, anywhere I can get the name, I try to get it. Um, as long as there's enough characters, because it takes up a lot of characters. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so you end up with like uh, Super yeah. Nintendo and a few, uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a few places. Uh. <laughs> That's, oh. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much what happened. Uh I don't know. I think either I have it on the Nintendo account and I forgot the password or somebody else took it, but I ended up with like a uh, virtual Nintendad on there. <laughs> virtual <laughs> Nintendad. Does that include migraines? That is the true yeah. question there. Yeah, I just I just wanted to, somebody's got to pay tribute to the virtual boy. So I figured it would be me. There you go. <laughs> well, good call. Good call. So let's, uh, let's talk about your history with, uh, with Nintendo. What were some of your first games? Uh, well, the, sis, we ended up the first time I ever saw a video game being played. It was, um, I was visiting my grandmother and she had two of my cousins over and they were playing uh, the master system. It was the, uh, the hunting game. I can't remember the name of it, but they had that. And I was like, wow, this is incredible looking, but I don't want to play uh, a hunting game. And so <laughs> my parents looked into it and they, dis- they, uh, this was at Thanksgiving and then that Christmas, I believe, we ended up getting this, the Nintendo, the Nintendo Entertainment System. And uh, with, so we with played. Duck Hunt? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because uh, yeah. it didn't come with the track and field, so it probably came with Duck Hunt. Yeah. 
<laughs> so he still got uh, stuck with the hunting game. He just couldn't get away from it. <laughs> yeah, but I mainly played Super Mario. Um, and I have an older brother and an older older sister. Uh, the sister, she didn't really care. She was busy uh, messing with guys at the time, so she didn't really pay much attention to the video games. But my brother, he he's uh, three years older than me, and so he was playing a lot of video games, too, back then. And we pretty much, uh, this to the grocery stores near our house, had let you rent video games. So uh, we would go and just rent a new game every weekend. And my mom would let my brother and I rent games, both of us each pick one. And so we we pretty much played every NES game throughout the years just from renting them all. What is this sorcery you speak of renting games? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know when you you don't live out in the middle of nowhere, they uh, they actually allow that to happen. Yeah, I, I've I've told it on here before. True story. I used to have to walk uphill both ways to get to my rental store. It was uh, it was no <laughs> joke. I lived in the country, and there happened to be a tiny gas station with Highway Home Electronics right along the i right along I five, and uh, so I had to walk under the freeway to be able to get <laughs> to the rental store. And all that was there is just this super old crusty dude with like a handful of games. And the ones that I remember the most were Bucky O'Hare and Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the Manhattan project. <laughs> yeah. They so, would have Bucky O'Hare there. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So that, those were the days for sure. Well, what were some of your uh, favorite games on the NES? And we'll kind of walk down each system. Yeah. The, um, the, the NES, I pretty much played, Anything made by Nintendo, I was like, oh, man, this is going to be good. And I pretty much, I mean, you're renting the game, so you don't really know anything to go off of but the box art. So um, I would always just pick, I picked a lot of, like, uh, licensed stuff, like DuckTales and um, things like that. But then my brother would pick games that he he would, like, he would read magazines and he had flow chart like charts of which <laughs> games he wanted and he would constantly be updating and since it wasn't on the computer he would have to just rewrite the list when he wanted to move one ahead of the other <laughs> um and so we pretty much played pretty much every game one of my favorite games back in the day and it still is to today is uh the legend of zelda 2 and what um, what yeah, that is um, that probably outside of, um, I guess now Breath of the Wild and uh, Legend of Zelda uh, Link to the Past. It's probably my third favorite Zelda game. And I, yeah, I really like that game. I know not pretty much nobody else does, but me. And um and a couple of the guys from eight, four, but yeah, the, um, <laughs> that was one of my favorite games. I played that all the time. I played that. I played, um, all of the Castlevanias. Uh, my dad back in the day was really into Castlevania and Castlevania first it was Contra. And then that was a little bit too much for him by the time he got to the end of the game. Mm. So he would play, um, Castlevania and whenever a new Castlevania game would come out he would be like I get to play it first and I'm like oh come on he's like I use my money to buy it I'm playing it first I'm like, All right. <laughs> <laughs> so he would just play it and then uh, he played that game like pretty much all of those games well he played one a lot and then he got the two and he couldn't figure it out and so he's like all right, I'm going to bed, try and figure out what to do. And I could never could. So oh. we didn't play uh, Castlevania two as much, but yeah, I definitely played a lot of Castlevania mega man. I played a lot of mega man. Oh man. Um, I love that. Kirby geek is saying, uh, I still don't believe you liked Zelda two super Nintendo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, I, you know, I like Zelda two as opposed to overrated games like Ocarina of time. <gasps> <laughs> Whoa! Shots fired! Shots fired! Look out! The chat is going to go crazy. Oh, uh, my friend Jay from the Nintendo Quest uh, documentary. Um, 
it, it wasn't until later on in life, but uh, that has become his favorite game as well, Zelda 2. You know, oh, well. as uh, but it wasn't until he was an adult and started playing it that he it kind of made more sense to him. And you know, yeah, I mean, I remember playing wiser. it as a ki- yeah. I, I remember playing it as a kid, and I was just so lost. I was just like, because I didn't own it, I would just go to my friend's house, and he's like, "Oh, look at this! It's the new Zelda." I'm like, "Sweet." I don't <laughs> what, you know, like, I don't even know. Cool. Yeah. And the guy had a sword and he looked like an elf and I'm like, let's go on an adventure. And then like every two seconds you touch a slime <laughs> in the field or whatever. And I was like, what? Like that, that does happen. Yeah. Right. Or am I mixing it up with, uh, with something every else? Two, wait, would you say every two seconds? What happened when you're in that top down view? Don't you do battles with stuff? Like if you like when you're walking around, well, if you like run into an enemy, yeah, in the overworld, yeah. then it goes to the side view, and you have to fight. Like you might only have to fight like one little bushy slime, but right, right. Then yeah, yeah. it's been so long. I'm like, did I just mistake this with Final Fantasy? Like, which I've played very <laughs> little of both of these games. So, oh, mm-hmm. the chat's saying Ocarina is way better. Look out! Look out! <laughs> <laughs> Don't like Ocarina. Oh my goodness! I don't even know right now. I don't even know. Um, well, <laughs> let's let's get into uh, the system you're named after here, the the Super Nintendo. What? Oh, uh, yes, how'd Super you Nintendo. how'd you get the system? And uh, what were what were a few of your favorites on that one? Um, we ended up doing what most people do, and then regret now but we ended up tr- trading in the nes all of our games and getting the super no. nes um <laughs> with super mario world and um yeah we played a lot of super nes as well uh it was me and my brother were still playing a lot of games together um like for christmas we would get games together like uh um we got like joe and mac they were trying to get us like games that we could play like multiplayer with. Sure. But, um, so we got like Joe and Mac and then my parents would get me like whatever my favorite movie was like at the time, like home alone Two. they have like, Oh, you know what? He's going to really love home alone to the game. Um, <laughs> nope. <laughs> yep. Nope. I uh, played it the first day and then I waited until February to trade in just out of respect to my parents. Or I'm sorry, Santa Claus. <laughs> Santa Claus, of course. <laughs> of course, good save. Good save. Yeah. Um, and then, uh, but pretty much on the Super NES, I played pretty much everything. I, at the time, like, at school, I was, like, sick a lot. And I had um, I had uh, my gallbladder removed in middle school. Oh, wow. And so I was at home sick a lot. And pretty much just playing um, uh, Super Nintendo. And so I played a lot of Super Nintendo Final Fantasy 2. I played a lot of um, I played a lot of that. I played a lot of um, geez, I'm trying to think. Did, did you play the ones the I game. get in trouble for not playing like Chrono Trigger? Chrono Trigger I played, yes. Yeah. Uh, the one I did not <laughs> play was Final Fantasy 3. Um but I w- have gone back and played it, but I, at the time I didn't, and I didn't play it. Um, but yeah, Chrono Trigger, I played a lot of that. Um, I really liked all, a lot of the licensed games, like the games that I had no business liking, like Beef and Butthead, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Ah, Real Monsters, um, Aladdin. Um, oh, Aladdin was so good. Cause he, we had, uh, Genesis. I was going to say on the Super Genesis, NES, but we also had Genesis <laughs> at the same time. So pretty much we were renting. We pretty much played like all of the games. Mm. Um, I was like the only kid at the school that everyone else is like, uh, they picked sides and I'm like, well, why can't I just play everything? Um, <laughs> <laughs> that's all I wanted to do. I just, I didn't care what system it was on. Cause if it was a video game, I wanted to play it. And, um, so I played uh, a link to the past. I remember I played through that and I, tr- I played through it twice and got everything. I, I did the thing where I tried to do every game save. I tried to get it to a hundred percent 
Mm. And then I did it twice, and then I was like, mm, I think I'm good. Um, <laughs> oh, <laughs> actually, I forgot to talk about it at the NES, but one game I uh, didn't like as much as the NES game. I didn't like Super Punch-Out as much as I liked Punch-Out. Okay. Punch-Out was one of my favorite games. And um, um, I actually have a Punch-Out tattoo. Uh, so... What, the, yeah. do, you, do you have like the do you have like the bandage across your belly button? <laughs> no, <laughs> I just have. <laughs> I should have done that. Maybe I still will. Um, I have uh, King Hippo. Oh, so um, same same character though, right? Like yeah, I have. So there you uh, go. It's like the, just little Mac, just the the two characters, Little Mac and Big Hippo, or King Hippo and Little Mac. Uh, King Hippo is trying to pull his shorts up as Little Mac swinging a punch. Oh, nice! And uh, it's in you know pixel art and very cool. Uh, yeah. So Super Punch Out, I played a lot. Um, was it the blonde hair? Is that what just kind of you just couldn't get into? Yeah, it? I was like, mm, no thanks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what about Super um, Metroid? I gotta know. Yeah, Super Metroid, I did play. I'm not you. Yeah, I really liked it. Um, I, I played that. I beat it. <laughs> <laughs> that was for Kirby. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I was just trying to get some brownie points after saying I, I didn't like Ocarina of Time. Yeah, good call. You gotta, you gotta work yeah. your way back. <laughs> it's gonna be a sl- oh, slow, slow road. Um, <laughs> well, yeah, you got her to laugh, uh, so that's that's a plus. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, pretty much. Anything that came out on the system, I tried to play. Like um, the a uh, couple of the games that I didn't play, but my friend had, so I went over to his house and played. Was like the Super Scope. Oh yeah. So we didn't get the Super Scope, so I went to his house and I just played that. You want to hear a sad story about Super Scope? I don't think I've ever told this. You want? You ready? Oh, oh dear, I'm ready. So I'm the oldest of six kids and I had the super scope and we played it regularly as a family. Like I should, I don't know that my siblings were into it that much, but my, my parents would play with me periodically, like shooting the moles and shooting the missiles out of the air. Right. Right. Yeah. <sighs> my youngest sister, when she was one chewed the end of the super scope off. So you couldn't aim any longer like the second part of the sights she just bit it off like like a little puppy that wasn't being watched apparently so i still tease her to this day i'm like when are you replacing my super scope that you ruined when you were one she's like i don't even remember (laughs) (laughs) so yeah rest in peace super scope because so long super scope yeah see you later see you later which i'm sure doesn't even work now because you can't I can't remember. Did that thing have a sensor you hooked into the system or did it, was it like the, the zapper? Uh, I think it might've been like the zapper. Yeah. So you, you got to set up the CRT for that bad boy, but uh, yeah, good look. So we typically jump right to the 64 here, but I'm going to, th- I'm going to, we're going to take a little, little detour maybe, especially since oh, you huh? brought it up. Did you, did you play virtual boy? Uh, yeah, I, I did not play it. At the time, I didn't buy one, but I played it at the store, and I was like, "Man, we should really get one of these." And by the time I I got enough money to save one up, they canceled it. So I was like, "Maybe we shouldn't get one of these." <laughs> right, <laughs> right. And then, what about a Game Boy? Oh yeah, I I remember I got the Game Boy. I was super excited about it. I was like, "Man, I." My parents were like, we can get you the Game Boy now if you want, or you can wait and get a Game Gear. And I was like, no, I want the Game Boy because I wanted I my favorite systems were the my favorite games were Nintendo games. And so I wanted to just be able to play those Nintendo games whenever my parents were watching television. Because most of the time they were watching really boring stuff and we only had one TV in the house. So it's like, <laughs> listen. <laughs> if you guys are going to be doing this, I want the game. I want the Game Boy. So I got the Game Boy. I um, I played a lot of Game Boy. I went through a lot of batteries. Um, the worm light was my friend. Um, I tried all sorts of different things. I tried the worm light. I tried the um, <laughs> worm light the was ma- the best. <laughs> I tried the magnifying one, the one that like the light boy. 
Yeah, the light boy. Yeah, <laughs> I tried uh, all of those things. Same to, here, dude. They, and I didn't even ever own it. I just would borrow all this stuff. And like, <laughs> I'm like, where do I? Oh, my gosh. There were so, so many crazy attachments. But you couldn't see that thing. Like, you had to sit. I remember there was one spot in, like, our living room that I could sit in the chair with the lamp light being just perfect. And that was, like, the one area that I could play Game Boy. Yeah, well, in like the living room, um, the family room, we had a, a light right in the ceiling, and I would always lay down on my stomach and watch TV, and so I would just lay there with the Game Boy, and that was like the one spot I could play it and see it. <laughs> if I was in my bedroom, I'd have to like, like lean out, lean towards the one window so I could see th- from the moonlight, and then if it <laughs> moved, heaven forbid. I- I'd have to adjust my body. <laughs> oh man, the 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 struggle was real back in the 1989. That is for sure. Oh yeah. So, um, so I'm assuming it continued with Nintendo for you. Did you get into the 64 and the GameCube and that kind of stuff? Uh yeah. Uh, I got all those at launch. Um, I uh, the N64. Actually, no, we didn't get the N64 at launch. We got the N64 before Christmas, but not at launch. Um, I was at home playing Mist on the PlayStation One because um, sometimes they would have like the rent to get one free deals, and oh. so uh, we ended up getting there late. And all they had left was uh, Mist. <laughs> two and, copies. You just took home two copies of Mist. <laughs> yeah. No, I didn't even rent two games that day. I only rented <laughs> Mist for the. Uh, That's it. PlayStation One. Oh, the loading. Um, and I'm sitting there playing it, and my brother got home from work. He's like. Why are you playing this game? I was like, I, I don't even know. But it's like <laughs> the game they had the red. I don't I even don't know where even I am. I would like move one I screen am. and I'd have to put in disc number three. And then I'd be like, wait, no, I wanted to go back. So I'd have to put number one back in. It was terrible. Um, <laughs> and so oh my, my brother's like, well, why don't you just play this? And he put uh, the Super Mario 64 box on my lap. And I freaked out, ran upstairs, grabbed the N64 box, brought it down. And they're like, calm down. I'm like, how can I be calm? We got Mars 64 here and we're not playing it. <laughs> how can I be <laughs> calm? It's impossible. So, yeah, I would have been the N64 kid if they, uh, if the, my parents recorded it. Oh, that's um, awesome. And so, yeah, so we uh, played um, Super Mario 64. All night long, my brother went to sleep. I was up until like 4 a.m. And I remember I was like playing for like hours on end. And I got to the first Bowser fight and I beat him, which is what, like 10 stars in? Yeah, something like that. And so it took me like hours to get there. But then I did it. And then I was like, man, I beat Bowser. And I was like, I got to tell. I was like, man, I got to really, I really ought to tell somebody about this. (laughs) But everyone you couldn't was tweet it back then. It's like, yeah, I could, let me tweet about this. <laughs> Tell this bird. Um, so I ended up just going to sleep and said, and woke up, and we just played that all weekend long. And uh, I never touched Mist again. Never touched poor Mist. See, they were trying to yeah. pull a fast one on you with Mist. They're like, no, kid, look, you're getting like 17 discs. So it's Ooh, like, right, it's like yeah. rent one gets 17 free. So, you know, mm-hmm. just, just be grateful. Yeah. And it took a while for the store by my house to get uh, the rentals in. At that point, we started going to Funko Land more because they didn't have the rentals as much. And so it'd be like, man, let's let's buy a game. Okay, but the game's $70. And so it'd be like, all right, this one I can tell. Last Core is going to be great. And so I played it, and I... I ended up beating it in a week. And then I was like, well, there goes $70. So then we, um, and that was no joke that, back we, then. That was no joke. That was like, that was like save all summer for that kind of stuff. Oh yeah. Yeah. And like, it was like my birthday and my parents were like, we'll buy you a game. And I was like, okay, yeah, you will. And so, um, so we ended up getting the, um, the N6, we ended up getting a uh, uh, wave race. My brother got nice. Um, and he pre-ordered, I believe 
they sold out of the first shipment or and then he ended up getting right before Christmas was uh what was the Star Wars Pod Racer Shadows of the Empire or Rogue Squadron? Uh Shadow of the Empire, yeah. Okay, cool. So he he ended up getting that and we played that and we were like, man, I don't even know how video games can look better than this. This is incredible. Right. We used to say that with the 64 all the time. Like, <laughs> yeah, this looks so yeah. realistic. Look at these wrestlers. It's like yeah. I'm watching a wrestling match. No, it yeah. wasn't. It really wasn't. We'd like Why paused we- like the replay <laughs> and I'd be like, look at this. It looks just, it's like they pasted Wayne Gretzky's face onto his body. <laughs> It's like of course, he was, his Wayne face Gretzky's, Wayne like Gretzky's a, face was every single character in that game, but right. that's besides the point. Yeah, <laughs> remember the camera where you could put your face in perfect dark, or whatever that was going to be a thing, and then they decided oh, yeah. against it. And yeah, how about Golden Eye um, Perfect Dark? Did you play a lot of those? Uh, yeah, we played. Um, well, uh, there. What happened was we played a lot of Golden Eye all the time and we'd be my parents um thank goodness for them because they didn't mind like it'd be like summertime and there would be all the kids from the neighborhood they'd come like knock on the window and we'd like let them all in at like two o'clock because like my friends had lies i didn't but they did and so they'd be out like hanging out going on dates and then when they got home after they would like drop their girlfriends off, they'd come over and we'd play Golden Eye and uh, WCW NWO Revenge. Yes, and um, WCW NWO Revenge had this thing where if you were in the middle of getting pinned, if you tap the analog stick, you automatically kicked out. So when you would pin somebody, you would just be staring at their controller to make sure they didn't do it and then you always had that one friend that would like (laughs) act like he's like freaking out to hit the buttons and at the last second hit the analog stick and (laughs) of course (laughs) yeah if more than one person (laughs) said you hit the analog stick then you would have to lay down and let the other guy pin you and if you hold the analog stick down in any direction as long as you're holding the analog stick in the direction uh you don't get up and so the, you would automatically get the pin. So uh, that was the punishment if you got caught hitting the analog stick. <laughs> you guys our... had like your own rules. <laughs> yeah, like, that, don't touch that analog we were, stick. <laughs> yeah, that's how serious we were. So finally, like when we played, um, when the next one came out, I can't remember if it was WrestleMania or No Mercy, but when I we think played WrestleMania that one, and the last one was No Mercy, I think. Oh, okay, yeah, that makes sense. But when that one came out, we we the first thing we did was tested it we all right pin me and then hit the you would hit the analog stick you didn't get up they're like oh this is this is the best thing ever this is a hundred times better (laughs) oh i love it man i love it how about gamecube yeah gamecube i got a uh, launch what was it Uh, that came out on a sunday right and was it tuesday the xbox came out and then that came out on a was it Friday or Sunday? Oh, I don't. I remember. can't remember. I don't remember. I didn't get mine until that Christmas from my from my wife at the time. So, or oh, still okay. is. My I was wife, working but. at GameStop at the time, and um, we had even the employees like you had to buy three games with it. Oh my gosh! Um, so luckily for the GameCube, I didn't mind because I got Super Monkey Ball, uh, Luigi's Mansion, and was it Rogue Squadron? Oh yeah. And um, uh, at the same time, I was training to become a professional wrestler. And um, wait, no, no lie. Yeah, yeah. Well, I got like trained by there. There's this wrestler. His name's Sandman. He was in ECW. And uh, like we did this training in a bar. Um, and then, <laughs> yeah, he's like, it sounds like the man. scene from the first X-Men movie. Like yeah. were people betting on you guys. Like, <laughs> yeah, he's like, listen, if your parents say it's okay. Cause at the time I was only like 17, I was, wasn't even 18 yet. They're like, if your parents say it's okay, I'll pile drive you off the uh, bar stool, the bar, uh, the, the, the top of the bar. I was like, okay, yeah, that sounds great. He's like, all right. But then he ended up not doing it. And he just did it to his son instead. But um, yeah, so um, I, I do, of all things, I was I was throwing a punch, and um, I 
tore my ACL and my knee because I was stomping my foot. Yeah. <laughs> when I threw my punch because uh, in training and they uh, so originally the doctor didn't think it was that serious, but then I guess the, it got worse. And so I ended up getting surgery uh, on Friday when that came out or yeah, it came out on yeah Friday. And then I ended up, I was in the hospital Friday, Saturday, and I came home Sunday and on our way home from the hospital, I had my parents stop and we ran in the GameStop and I got my GameCube and hooked it up. My legs like elevated. I'm sitting there playing Luigi's Mansion, sucking up ghosts. (laughs) I love it, man. I love it. That's awesome. So if you were going to say, if you had to pick a favorite Nintendo console, like we're talking like Desert Island, what do you take with you? What do I take with me? I think I would probably take. Uh, you happen to have electricity on this island and possibly Wi-Fi. So there you go. <laughs> if I had to pick one, um, I think I would probably pick the DS. The original DS? Yeah, only because it has Game Boy Advance. Oh, um, sure. You sneaky snake, you. Because <laughs> it's got the game you know, with the backwards compatible. You're like, I'm picking the Wii. I want to be able to bowl and play GameCube games. <laughs> In virtual <laughs> console. Thank you. Um, <laughs> yeah, I should have done that. But yeah, um, I, uh, like I said, my parents, they, when I was living with my parents, they would have full control over the TV. And then. When I met my wife, she would have full control over the TV. <laughs> I got these stupid kids. They got full control over the TV. So anytime I could play a handheld, I <laughs> will go right for it. The Switch and, is a dream uh, come true for you. Yeah. So the Switch is like, uh, it was like the, um, the, the Wii U was great, but I couldn't take it to the bathroom. And uh, so well, you could, depending uh, on where you left the regular console at. Yeah, I know. I'd have to plug it in and then <laughs> slide it over if I wanted. I was like, oh, I'm heading to the bathroom. Hold on. <laughs> and then people were like, where's Chris? Oh, look, the game. there's the switch over there. The, uh, <laughs> we use over don't there. He must be in the, the bathroom. Wii yeah. Oh, it's dedication, man. Yeah. Don't stand in between the system and the bathroom, please. I don't want to <laughs> lose signal. You don't want um, the signal messed up. <laughs> 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 and so the yeah i really liked the handhelds so the fact that this is pretty much exactly a handheld and when i need it to be a console it's fantastic yeah the switch that is right right for sure for sure maybe i'd bring the switch with me in a couple of years maybe after they port more uh wii u games onto it yeah, there'd be enough. Uh, I think there'll be enough games by then, man. It's 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 crazy. It is crazy. So, what have you been playing this last week? This week? Oh my goodness! You know, there's quite a bit I've been playing. Um, the one first, I'll start off with. Uh, uh, there's a game called Arms, and um, it had a new update, and the update added uh, badges. It added um, a new secret hidden boss or enemy that you can fight. And um, it, and my son, he, my oldest son, Dash, he has a Switch. And he really likes ARMS. So he's been asking me to play ARMS with him a lot lately. And now they got this new update. So they got the badges. So you'll get a badge for... Uh, they're kind of like achievements. Uh, like you get it for beating. Don't tell me that. <laughs> the, the only the only difference is they're all secret achievements because they literally don't even tell you. There's no sign. They're all blanks, badge spaces. Mm. And then if you earn one, you'll get it. And then it'll tell you what you got. And then it'll give you a bunch of coins. So I've been able to get a lot of arms because I ended up getting like 300, 3000 coins. Oh, wow. From just from getting all the badges. It's like play arms using a controller, play arms using motion controls. And then it just gives you like 20 coins. One might give you a hundred. 
And uh, so, and then whatever like badge you get that might be like a hard one to get, you can attach that to your profile, and then everyone sees that badge when you're in like a party mode. This is not good for me, man. Even the chat, Captain Logan's like secret achievements, Josh. Kirby Geek's like, oh, geez. <laughs> yeah, it pretty much, uh, I believe there's one for like playing 50 matches with each character. You get a badge. And so those badges will like be themed after the character that you get. Um, yeah, who knows? Maybe um, Mario Odyssey will get it. Ooh, don't badges. F- oh man. Oh man. There's gonna be a one hundred percent complete badge. We'll have to do it. We'll have to do it. <laughs> Everybody's like, we know you don't finish anything. There'll be a don't don't finish this game achievement, <laughs> then I can get like two of those. Yeah. So where's the where's the uh I played it and then you don't play it again for four months. Right. <laughs> I'd get that badge in Mario Kart, that's for sure. <sighs> what uh any other games any other like indies or anything uh yeah um so for so for the indie games there's uh this fantastic fabulous game called don't knock twice and uh <laughs> it's actually not fantastic or fabulous it's terrible and awful okay oh, uh, we'll talk more about that one a little later then excellent yeah but um i'm trying to think there's this really lame it's kind of lame um game called uh Square Boy versus Bullies <laughs> Arena Edition. And uh it's kind of like a pixel pixelated uh beat 'em up and mm, it's not very good, but it was mm, it's not very good. No, I'm trying to think of anything I liked about it. It's like you know when you get like the beat 'em up games and if you get close to an enemy they just like hit you and there's nothing you can do to defend yourself. That's kind of what this game does. And I, I, I want to say it was originally a mobile game and then now it's on the switch. I think it's like four ninety nine If you want to get that, I have to look at the um, pictures real quick, but we'll see. Yeah. I got it. Apparently I have to do an update, so we'll just sit and wait for that to happen. But yeah, we'll um, just sit and wait. Well, uh, but while you do that, I will talk about, um, you know, there's a game came out called Putty Pals. Okay. And it's kind of like these like little clay balls. <laughs> All right. Um, let me dial that back. There's, um, <laughs> there you go. You got this. I got faith. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So it's kind of like these little claymation figures and when you're moving them around, it's just like a little ball or a marble. And then when they, you can move their arms around. Um, w- one of them is it. Uh, when you go to the main menu, the first thing that comes up is two player because it's designed to play as a two player game, and you can play it with two Joy Cons. Um, but what happens is if you play by yourself, it's like one stick. One stick will move one character and the other stick moves the other one. And so it gets a little confusing at times, but um, it's kind of so you got one that's red and one that's blue or one that's red and or one's green and one's blue. So uh, you'll run into a wall that's green and only the blue one can go through it. And, um, And then he'll need to hit something or make something happen so that the green one can get around and uh it's all 2d and mm. uh it's 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 actually pretty fun and uh i i think i'd recommend that one if you're looking for a game like a good co-op game to play with somebody else you got the split joy cons and um it's definitely designed to be a two-player game oh that's cool that's cool you stay busy you stay busy playing some uh playing a lot of these indies and you also uh tend to put up just like gameplay videos on your youtube channel correct uh yeah i pretty much put up like the first uh i don't know like uh i'll do like the first 10 or 15 minutes i don't really talk over them i just do it so that people because i know some people are like hey how's this game look and then i just show them the video of the gameplay and they check it out 
Gotcha. Well, sadly for me, all I've been playing is uh, kitchen remodel in IRL. So, or in real life, that that'd be two in. So, oh. um, in in real life, yeah, in in real life. Um, but but finally, finally, all the games I've been ordering, all these indie titles, finally showed up. So, Sinmora X. I'm showing the camera right now. If anybody's just watching, um, and not not just you podcast listeners. If you're just listening, I'm sorry. Um, 88 Heroes, Tiny Barbarian, and uh, Soul Dam. So we'll finally get some uh, get some videos up on those and uh, see how they are. I couldn't believe it. I was like, the two came in from Best Buy, one all the way from Anchorage, Alaska. How crazy is that? And uh, the uh, Amazon order was supposed to be here yesterday. And I think the the person delivering the mail just forgot it in their truck because I got hit with a delivery attempt, which never happens. And, uh, so anyway, everything, everything <laughs> has shown up and, uh, I got to try to get some review videos out ASAP. So, um, not like I have time to play, but that's, uh, that's neither here nor there. We'll get there eventually. Um, yeah, you got to get there before October 27th. You'll probably be pretty preoccupied after that. Oh, you know how excited I am for that, though? I'm excited just to lose myself in a game like I did with Zelda. I didn't stop playing Breath of the Wild until I was at uh, well over 100 hours. And uh, I hope for something similar with, uh, with Odyssey. I hope it's, I hope it's similar. So, yeah, I'm sure. Because I, I won't stop. I won't stop. Uh, <laughs> playing that one until it's until it's at least the sto- you know and 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 at least until i save the princess or whatever the the story ends up being um but i am going to get up early tomorrow and go pick up the two new fire emblem amiibo and mm-hmm. uh pick up a copy of uh fire emblem um warriors warriors yeah yeah did you get the uh, collector's edition or i don't have anything pre-ordered but i'm going to try to get that one so all right uh, my buddy get... pre-ordered it on Amazon, and they delivered it today. So oh. he's been playing it all night. But yeah, cool. um, I'm planning on getting the Amiibo, but the game itself is downloading right now. Oh, so. sweet. Sweet. And we have a little bit in the news section to talk about with, with that game. Something that's uh, um, a little inter- interesting. So uh, Kirby Geek says you can end up marrying Bowser. That's going to be the twist. Spoilers. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> so but anyway i'm excited i like tyrule warriors i mean i didn't like play it to completion of course i know make your jokes it's fine but uh um surprisingly it was a really fun couch co-op game on the wii u like uh my wife and i played for a uh well i think we played it once we really enjoyed it we just never played it again um but but it was fun for sure so um i did get a review copy of uh elliot quest and uh thanks to uh super nintendad saying hey reach out to this developer and then like i said earlier guys they are going to be joining us uh joining me on monday so it'll be it'll be a good time it'll be a good time um as far as uh we're gonna obviously we're gonna skip this week's releases we did that on tuesday but um just for our news and talking points nintendo of america is reevaluating its stance on review copies of games after a Nintendo ambassador leaked the ROM for Mario and Luigi superstar saga. Why? Yeah. Why? Uh, 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 yeah. What do you think it of this? Seems man? Like, uh, well, it's pretty, pretty ridiculous. I don't understand why anyone would even do this. And I'm sure Nintendo didn't ever expect anyone to do it. And that's why they didn't really plan for something like this to happen pretty crazy yeah i was listening to uh <clears throat> the uh, nintendo dads podcast today they recorded last night and they were they were discussing this and they were like why not leak something awesome that you're going to go to jail for you know <laughs> why not leak something <laughs> you know just epic not a port and uh <laughs> you know i mean why leak it at all it's it's yeah you know, and I don't know. I don't know. I know there are YouTubers out there that like literally have videos that say it's their moral duty to uh, pirate Nintendo games because they 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 despise the company so much. You know, so I don't know if it's part of that whole community. I don't know. I don't know what the I don't know what the motivation is there 
that I mean, you better lawyer up and be ready for the fight of your life because they aren't going to be messing around. Yeah, I'm actually really curious, like the story behind how this person got it and leaked it and like if they were getting other game codes before this or if something happened where they got the code, but then they gave it to a friend who leaked it or what ended up happening. I don't know. Yeah, it's it's hard to say. It's hard to say. And I guess the the Nintendo deaths we're talking about because they're they're ambassadors for uh, um, Nintendo of Canada and Nintendo of Europe. And you have to sign a lot of paperwork saying like you will not do stuff like this. You will follow the um, the NDAs and the um, embargoes and all that stuff. And you know, you basically sign your life away at that point. So it's just. I, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe maybe the person just drank too much that night or something. I, I don't know. I don't yeah. know. I don't know what motivates it. But a lot of people were worried about like um, the Fire Emblem games getting out to uh, um, reviewers and uh, and Mario Odyssey um, getting out to reviewers hands. But we did see a handful of tweets today of people with the game saying today's going to be a good day. You know, like it, it is getting out there. Right. And you, you saw a handful of them, too. Correct. Uh, yeah, and yeah, a couple of people. Uh, I saw, uh, what was it, Tim Geddes from uh, Kind of Funny Games. He was like, oh man, I just got this right before I'm going on a flight. So it's, I know what I'm doing today. And oh, yeah. I'm sure there'll be uh, the embargo, I think, lifts on Thursday. So it's the day before the game comes out. So I'm sure <laughs> if you don't want to see everything cool, stay away from the internet on thursday yeah for sure for sure i mean and it's it, it's it's one of those things when an embargo lifts so close to the release date it kind of always puts up a red flag for a lot of people like are they worried mm-hmm. about reviews but i think in the case of of odyssey they're really just worried about people having stuff spoiled because there's a there's a whole lot to this game to be surprised by you know it's not like there's going to be and I'm just speculating, there's not going to be like some great story, like with a big twist and all that stuff, but the exploration alone is what it's going to make this game so great. And so to have that stuff spoiled would be, would be quite a bummer. That would, and all the costumes, I'm sure someone's getting right now they're as they play it, they're getting videos of all the different costumes to make a video showing off everything you can get. So hopefully, uh, there's some, some things left. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. We, uh, we don't, we don't want that stuff spoiled. So in in this case, I'm not too worried, especially since I've played the game and seen what it's like. And, and, you know, and, uh, I know we've a few, like captain Logan, he played it today too. And, uh, he, we were telling him to speed run one, two switch, but he, he's played Mario Odyssey instead. So, um, it was kind that's of, that's what he tells us anyway. Right. Right. He said he had issues with uh, milking virtual cows. So we, we were trying to get to the bottom of it, but he, he, uh, eventually yeah. kind of just, uh, um, it just turns out he was trying to milk a Goomba. That's <laughs> <laughs> that may have been the case. So. Yeah. That's uh, the problem. Um, <laughs> but yeah, the, uh, are you going to be playing with the pro controller or with the split joy cons? Ooh, you know, that's a good, it's a good question. I was really impressed by how the game controlled, um, with the split joy cons, but I could also see it playing just fine with the, uh, um, with the pro controller. I, I will say I really enjoy the galaxy games and having the split. It did not bother me like I anticipated it would. Um, it really didn't bother me at all. So yeah, we'll just see, um, streaming it and flailing my arms around and stuff is not always uh, super fun, but w- you know, it'll, it'll just depend on what I, how well the, the pro controller does, you know, it's a great controller right. and everything, but this game kind of caters to those motion controls with the, with the, with throwing your hat and whatnot. So, right. Yeah. What about and you? Everything what do you think? they've had shows them using motion controls, even when they use the pro controller. So mm. it'll be interesting to see if they even let you just turn off the pro controller or the motion controls. Yeah. Interesting. Uh, interesting. It seemed like you could, when I was playing, when I played it at, at Best Buy, like it seemed like I could do every move without m- making any motion and it would work. Okay, yeah. You so, just have more can I was hearing people say that you just have more control over your 
at and where it goes with motion control. That, that kind of seemed like the case. So um, maybe it'll be like throwing your punches and arms it, it where could, you kind of have more control. Yeah, it could be. It could be. And we've got just a week. Just think in less than a week, you guys will all be playing it. We will all yeah. be playing it. So I'm pretty, one I'm week pretty from excited. now I'll, it'll, I'll be, it's one 30 in the morning for me. Now I'll be an hour and a half into Mario by then. It's not too late or anything. <laughs> you know, we're just doing the late night, late night podcast. So yeah. everybody that's here, thank you so much. We appreciate you. Um, um, switch update 4.0. Let's, uh, we can kind of rapid fire this thing. We got cap. We can now capture video in certain games only. Right? Yes. 30 seconds. Up 30, to seconds. 30 seconds. And, uh, it sounds like the resolution's not super high. Possibly once yeah. you share it, because you know Twitter is going to compress things, Facebook will comp- compress things, that kind of stuff. So, right, yeah. Um, we got new icons, which what well, we got Odyssey and uh, and what else? Yeah, we have uh, Breath of the Wild. We have the um, the Guardians from Breath of the Wild. The champions. The they- champions. My bad. Yeah. Okay. Cool. I was like, really? They put the Guardians in there, but I think they already have the Guardian actually. No, oh, really. But yeah. The- yeah, they have um, the champions, and then um, I think they might have like one or two of the enemies. Okay, cool, cool. So, according to um, a post from Nintendo Life, um, wireless headphones with with USB. So, do you want to? Tr- you kind of explain this to me already. Can you can you break it down real quick? Because this wasn't even really. Um, announced by nintendo people just kind of found out about it right yeah so i tried it i have the playstation like the wireless gold headphones um and in order to use them on even your playstation you have uh like back in the day when the ps3 was out you would get these um uh, like a USB stick and you would plug it into the usb and then the headphones would connect to that and so that's what you can do with the switch. So if you plug in the um, you plug in the in, in into the dock, and then you plug the USB into the dock, and those headphones will connect to the switch. Um, and people have been saying that it works really well uh, in handheld mode too. I haven't actually done it myself in handheld mode just uh docked but yeah um that's a cool feature uh maybe they're trying to iron out some more kinks before they actually announce or talk about that and that's why they didn't bring it up but it's there sort of okay okay and then um one other thing is just kind of you can see if you've only played a game for like two hours or whatever like it shows you a more accurate time instead of some time or you know yeah X amount of time, whatever. Now, now it actually shows you how long you played each of those games. So yes. that's cool. Um, one thing worth noting is that fire emblem warriors has two versions on the eShop. You can get the regular edition or the, the special edition, which comes with the season pass. So that's uh, the first time we're seeing something like that. Um, it's in a store that is already overcrowded. It's a little interesting that they have two games cluttering it up of the same, like two spots being taken up by the same game, essentially. Um, yeah. But, uh, I was but, trying to think that I, uh, for at first I said that didn't happen with anything else, but then I remember there's like three versions of NBA 2k on, on the East shop. So there's like the regular edition silver and gold. So, um, I guess there's, there's that. Hopefully it doesn't end up like, like if it's pretty much um on the Xbox store there's like every game pretty much has like three versions mm. so it's kind of hard to keep track of hopefully it's bad enough with the way the store is now when new games come out they push all the previously released games out of the main screen yeah so uh hopefully not too many more games do something like that Right, right, right. So, and uh, which one did you end up going with? Did you pick up the regular or the season uh, Yeah, pass? the one with the season pass I got. Okay. All right. Excellent. Excellent. Well, hey, real quick, give us a quick impression of Don't Knock Twice and Elliot Quest. Okay, yeah. So, Don't Knock Twice is um, kind of a first-person 
uh, just to give you an idea of what it was, originally it was a VR game. Uh, it's based on the movie Don't Knock Twice, I believe. Um, and the they brought it out on the Switch, and I don't think it looks particularly good. It, uh, there's You're basically just walking around. It's kind of like a VR experience, but on the Switch, and it's pretty terrible. I don't really like it. The uh, if you're playing in handheld mode, pretty much the text is pretty much unreadable, um, and it's just easily my <laughs> least favorite game on the Switch. I don't even. <laughs> you couldn't even find the words to describe how bad it was. Apparently, yeah, it's terrible. <laughs> I would suggest uh, not getting that game. Yeah, let's let's recount or like give a little a uh, <laughs> little recap of of how it went down in the Discord. Uh, Super Nintendo. Yeah. Post picture of downloading Don't Knock Twice 15 minutes later. Super Nintendo ad post picture of deleting Don't Knock Twice. So <laughs> Kirby Geek says don't buy once. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Don't, don't buy knock once. Twice, don't buy once. Oh, so give us the give us a quick uh, impression of uh, Elliot Quest. Oh well, Elliot Quest um is an is a great game. Uh, from what I've played so far, I played about like an hour of it when it came out on the 3DS, and then I'm playing it again now on the Switch. Uh, it, you can definitely tell it feels to me like a love letter to um, one of the top three Legend of Zelda games ever made, and I'm talking about Legend of Zelda 2. <laughs> and <laughs> triggered it's it's fantastic i love it um it's kind of like uh yeah like 8-bit art and it's really good um you level you can level up i haven't figured out what to do like i got my level bar my experience bar all the way to the top from killing enemies but then i couldn't figure out how to actually put those experience points to use I think you had to you have to go somewhere to to do it to oh, level okay. up. Um but yeah, it's a uh, it's a lot of fun. It looks really good. I like the overworld map. Um and uh it feels good. The controls feel nice. Um yeah, it's definitely a game I would recommend. If you're torn between Elliot Quest and Don't Knock Twice, I definitely suggest getting Elliot Quest twice. And then yeah. Get it twice before you get that once. <laughs> well, speaking of games that kind of uh, are love letters to classic games, how do you feel about that? How do you feel about games that pay homage to uh, to older classics, i.e., like Shovel Knight, Elliot Quest? Um, what what do you how do you feel about that? Do you like going back into what feels like an older experience that uh, maybe a little more um, um, updated? Or would you prefer to see indies focus on like, you know, do more like just new, new ideas and, and, uh, you know, come up with stuff that's fresh. Yeah. Well, I think what happens is a lot of times, like these guys that are guys and gals that are making these games, they're, they're like the same age as like us. So they're, or they played all the same games that we played growing up and a lot of those like older games, they're just not making them anymore. And so they they're like, okay, you know what? We really love Ducktales and Mega Man, and there's nothing really coming out. So how about uh, Shovel Knight? And they uh, and then you got um, War Groove coming out later that plays a lot like Advance Wars and Tiny Metal. That's coming out before the end of the year, and that plays a lot like from uh, Sony. Uh, actually, is publishing that game but that plays a lot like uh advanced wars as well and yeah i am totally okay with the, them giving us these feeling these games that might give us like nostalgic feeling from playing them but it's like totally new characters and hopefully they add enough to it that it makes it their own and doesn't just feel like well this is exactly just that game with a new paint coat new bleh coat of paint <laughs> it's 1 30 in the morning you're all right man you are all right so yeah i'm i'm with you i like seeing um 
I like getting back into uh, playing games that are just that are just pixels, you know, eight bit pixels, sixteen bit pixels, twelve bit, whatever. Like I really, really enjoy um, I- enjoy that kind of thing. I mean, even the even like this tiny barbarian, you know, like looking at the artwork of it, like I'm excited to I'm excited to jump in and and experience this. And uh, so I'm I'm all for it. I say I say bring it on, you know, I the one thing is, is like, I love it when you see something that's, that is very high quality and is a, you know, got great gameplay and everything. I mean, Shovel Knight is, uh, is like far and above, um, a a lot of other games in its category. I mean, it's, it's always really impressed me just the way it looks, the way it plays, um, just the charm that they were able to, um, it just infuse into that game has, has, has always impressed me. And so, and the funny thing is, is I've bought the game multiple times, but I still don't have it on the switch. Cause I tweeted at them and I'm like, Hey, when is the complete edition coming to physical? They're like, let us finish the, the current DLC and we'll get back to you. Or we want that, but let us finish the current DLC. I'm like, okay, cool. You know, so, so sometime in 2018, that's what I'm thinking. So I'm glad I kind of, I'm glad I kind of held off for the, uh, um, the, the the third time Captain Logan's has bought it multiple times, played once. <laughs> so I'm beaten. Right. <laughs> right. Well, hey, we just hit that hour mark, man. So why don't you tell everybody where they can find you and uh, the stuff that you make on the internet? And uh, yeah. All right. Well, my uh, home address <laughs> no, is social security <laughs> number. <laughs> yeah, my last four of my social my blood type um but yeah so you can find me over at tw- on twitter at uh, super nintendad um and you can find me pretty much everywhere at super nintendad uh except for grinder i don't do that well that's cute. um <laughs> <laughs> sorry ladies and i guess guys um yeah so uh pretty much anywhere you can find uh look enter a username you can just look me up as super nintendo and that's where you'll find me all right very cool man uh guys you're gonna find me on twitter at n64 josh as well as twitch uh facebook youtube snapchat instagram it's all it's all n64 josh so if you want to stay up to date with what i'm doing and when uh when streams are going live um i do try to consistently stream every monday tuesday and uh it's looking like thursdays around 8 p.m um, Pacific standard time, um, is going to be another time that I can maybe knock out, uh, some kind of a podcast. So, um, just stay tuned for that. And, uh, remember if you want to get yourself an audiobook from audible, you can go to audibletrial.com slash NPC. And, uh, there you can get yourself a, a free book of your choice. And I highly recommend console wars or super Mario, how Nintendo, um, conquered America, I believe is the title. It's very good stuff, especially if you're into the history of, uh, of Nintendo. Um, also the chair I'm sitting in from OP seat, very comfortable, very affordable. Go to opseat.com. Make sure to use coupon code N64 Josh. And, uh, if you guys have a second and you're enjoying the show, please leave us a review on iTunes. I'd really, really, really appreciate that. And, um, yeah, super Nintendo. Thank you for, uh, for hanging out. I appreciate you, hey, man. Thanks for having me. All right. All right. We will, uh, we'll see you guys next week.